Hey everybody, welcome to the Science of Golf Performance. My name is Tyler and today I'm going to explain to you why golfers need to be doing bench press. So it gets asked all the time, hey, why am I lying flat on my back, fixed to this bench, pressing a weight away from me? What is this doing for my golf swing? Hey, um, from a technique side of things, bench press isn't really doing a whole ton of the golf swing because it doesn't look anything like the golf swing and in the golf swing you're never lying flat on your back, fixed to the bench. Hey, you're completely correct. What it's doing though on a physiological level, and okay, not trying to get too deep here, what it's doing is it's a central nervous system adaptation. So you're using heavier weight for a lighter amount of reps. And again, I might get asked, why is the weight heavy and why am I moving it slow? Because the heavier amount of weight that you have on the bar during a bench press, the more amount of muscle fibers you need to recruit. Take for example, an empty barbell, it's 45 pounds. You're central nervous system is only going to recruit a fraction of the muscle fibers necessary in your upper body to press the weight up against you. All right, now load the bar up. Okay, put 45 on your side, 135 pounds. You just tripled your weight. Okay, now your central nervous system is going to fire a significantly larger amount of muscles through your chest to press the bar away from you. So what we're doing with the bench press is we're chasing an adaptation through your central nervous system. If we can do that, in manipulating exercises like the bench press, the squat, the deadlift, then we can get the central nervous system to adapt and swing the club faster for you in the golf swing and recruit more muscle fibers in the golf swing. So I hope you found this uh, information resourceful. Hey, if you could give the page a like and subscribe and check out our other videos.